it's Sarah with Obadiahs and today I am going to do a technical overview for you guys on the Vulcan Hydro Stove. Now the Vulcan Hydro is a model that we import from Serbia and it is technically sold as a coal stove. Um, as I always say, any type of coal stove is going to be built from a thicker material. With the coal, you actually bring in combustion air from underneath the firebox, and then you get the nice cast iron grate in the bottom. So it's really built well, and it's really built to last and withstand higher temperatures. Um, this is the hydro model, so it is going to require water to be connected to it at all times. It does require a pump system this is not a thermo siphon system. So your pumps, your zone controls, and heat exchangers for your hydronic setup, all of that is sold separately. Um, and it is required before you can light the stove to have all of those items, have it properly plumbed in, and um, those items do require electricity to operate, okay? So I get people who call who are off grid that wanna have hydro type of applications. Um, you can try calling a plumber that's more specialized in off grid type of plumbing and sometimes they can use like lower voltage like maybe 110 volt or something of that sort for off grid customers but you are going to require like some type of battery backup system and then I know like some off grid people have solar as well so maybe between a combination of the two you could potentially use this um, for an off grid application but again this is something that you talk to your certified plumber about. So Obadiahs, we are not certified plumbers. Um, we are technical with the product, uh, but we are not licensed to provide you with plumbing information. So these type of hydronic systems are required to be installed by a licensed and certified plumber. If your plumber ever has any type of questions about how to do the install on this system, we are happy to help them out along the way. Um, so I'm going to take you through a technical overview, show you guys the quality of the product. All right, here's the Vulcan up close. Nice convection air outlets on the front, on the top. Also, this is your nice stainless steel accent here. Um, it is a center top flue. We pulled out the flue collar. That's just going to be a standard six inch flue. I'm going to show you guys inside the firebox. Here is your damper control. So this is your dial control that goes from zero to eight. Inside the firebox, look at how big this glass door is. Um, nice thick gasket material here as well that you can see. Nice log stopper. This is nice that it goes up so high, especially with such a large glass, so you don't have any issue with that falling through. Here is your nice cast iron grate. This is a reburn system right here. And then this is the water jacket system that surrounds the firebox here. So, um, here you can see with the stainless steel finish, but the side panels are still black. Nice air convection here. So with this model, you will get both radiant heat, um, like radiant, or I should say convection heat off the stove itself, as well as the heat that goes into the water. Here are going to be our plumbing ports. This tag says that the maximum plumbing is two bar. Um, I guess I need to run a conversion off my head. I don't know what that is, so I will double check that and leave that for you guys in the comments because I had said 30 PSI earlier. One other thing that I should mention is that this model is not UL listed as of right now, okay? So it is June of 2021. Um, depending on how well in the demand for the product, we may get this model UL listed. Right now we're kind of in the research and development stages as to you know how well the product is gonna sell here in North America. 
So be sure if you're interested in this product, you definitely, definitely need to check with your homeowner's insurance because sometimes that can void your insurance policy. So check into that. The other issue that could arise is potentially if you're having any type of building inspection done or if you're in Canada and you require a wet inspection, then you will wanna check directly with the inspector regarding that topic. So I really, really hope that you guys find these videos helpful. Um, I work really hard to try and give you guys as much information as possible. I really appreciate your guys' feedback and your comments. Um, thank you guys just so much for watching. Please don't forget to just click the thumbs up on the video, the subscribe button in the corner of the channel. Thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.